Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and spending a little part of your day with me. Today I've got a fun unboxing for you. It is the March Fruit for Thought box that has the theme of dill pickle. If that sounds like an odd theme or you're just not familiar with Fruit for Thought, it is a really fun, whimsical lifestyle box that is always themed around a different food or combination of a couple of foods. So you're going to receive items that are in that flavor or scent or color palette. So it always makes for a really delightful experience. This box was sent to me for review, but it's normally $39.95 plus $5.95 in shipping. If you do a longer subscription, you get a little bit of a price break. If you use the code NOEL10, you can save 10 percent on your first month to month box and I will leave a link and that code for you in the description box below. Just a little note whenever possible please go to any subscriptions direct site. I think that different marketplaces like CrateJoy and there's a few others are really great resources in terms of finding the right boxes for you and often managing all of your subscriptions if you have several of them but it does actually cost the subscription companies more money when you go through that marketplace so whenever possible just to sort of keep their profit margins intact. It is very helpful to them if you go to their direct site, even if it is run on the CreateJoy platform. So I always, whenever possible, do try to direct you to those links. But that was my quick little PSA, but let's get into this box and see what we have got. So I did see in the lineup for upcoming themes that there is a mango theme that's upcoming, which I'm pretty excited about. Inside, we are back to our fruit-themed ribbon and some very bright green tissue paper, which of course goes along with the theme of dill pickle, which I know is probably a little bit of a controversial theme for some people, but I actually love pickles. Not as much as my husband. He is obsessed with pickles. Um, there's even a cute little like scratch and sniff sticker, which I won't actually scratch and sniff it right now, but I think that is a really adorable touch. So let me go ahead and unfortunately, of course, I have to rip the tissue paper so we can get in there and see what we've got. Okay. So that sticker was very sticky. All right, so I'm just seeing, yes, our March theme is dill pickle and it does give us a little preview. The April theme is peachy apricot and at time of filming, I think she had a couple of those left. And so far, you guys, the spoilers for peachy apricot have been awesome. So definitely get in on that if you still can. And then on the back, she just tells us all of the information about the different items that are in here. She does not give us the individual retail values, which you guys know I generally appreciate, but I do feel like you're getting the value of this box. They make great regiftable items just in case there's something you don't see yourself using. But I have a feeling that I'm going to like all of the pickle themed things in here. So let me just kind of move some of the shred out of the way so we can get in there. There's a lot of green going on in here to be expected. Now the first thing I'm seeing just caught my eye because you guys know how much I love a candle although I'm a little bit trepidatious about a pickle candle. So it says this is from Geeky Girl Sense and it says pickles scientist dill fresh cucumbers and what is this portals? Um, let's see what that says. I'm, I'm kind of confused about that. So it's very green, but you guys know that green is my color for the year. So let me find this. A pickle scented candle, you say? This dill, fresh cucumber, and parsley scented candle will make you think differently. So parsley, not portals. <laughs> Hand poured and soy blend by Geeky Girl Scents. So let's go ahead and check it out. I swear it says portals on there. All right, opening. Wow, so look at very, very green, very appropriate for, for March. So it's not a super strong scent. I will say that it smells mostly like dill to me. And I love the scent of fresh dill. Let me know if you like dill. I, I think it's great and so many things. Yeah, I think that's actually really nice. It's very fresh and kind of springy. So that's that's a good one to start with. And I, I'm kind of kind of interested about to, to burn it and see if it gets a little bit stronger in scent. Um, the next item, she does always include sweet treats in this box, so that's always fun. This is from Pure Sugar, which is a company that does appear in this box quite a bit, and it is a dill pickle lollipop, which also sounds a little bit scary to me. Let's see if I can find this on here somewhere. This, again, it just sounds interesting to be pickle, it's like, which is like, you think of like tart 
but then also sweet. But I like things that are like Sour Patch Kids that are both sweet and tart, so maybe that's kind of what's gonna go on with that. Hmm, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. So it just says that we get this um, really fun lollipop. I'll have to try it later and tell you guys what I think, but maybe there's some more information about it on the card. I'm just not seeing it right off, but I'll kind of go over the card at the very end to make sure. Um, whatever this is, is really really cute so it looks like some little tongs with some bright green little hands i just want to like clap with them la 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 so i'm guessing this is to grab your pickles from the jar let me see if i can find this she does always include like really fun like kitchen gadgets and things so these are Kazeel mini tongs to grab a pickle or an olive out of the jar. Convenient, fun, and practical, and perfect for an appetizer tray. That's so true. If you're doing your like charcuterie board and you want to like be uh, sanitary, then this way it's a little bit easier to pluck things from the main board onto your own little like cocktail plate. Um, and this is definitely something that I'm going to make my husband use because, like I said, he loves his pickles and he's always like actually sticking his finger with a fork in there and trying to like pull out the pickle. And obviously, the other tongs that we have. Are like way too big so this is going to be his new best friend so he can find the right pickle in the jar so i i like that that was a great item let's see we've got another something that looks like a condiment and again my husband is a condiment connoisseur he likes to put sauces of all sorts on everything this actually looks like something i'll like so it says pilsudski brand it's a dill mustard with garlic Look how much we got too. This is like a full bottle of mustard. So if you like mustard and you like dill, then you'll like this. If you're not a fan, then this might not be the product for you, but this is definitely something that we will use. So let me see if I can find this. It says, this dill mustard with garlic will have your taste buds. Think you just ate a pickle. Great on deli sandwiches, potato salad, deviled eggs, and more. Oh, that's such a great idea. I could totally see using this in your deviled egg mixture. I love deviled eggs. Or on your sandwiches. I love pickles on my sandwiches just for that little bit of crunch and tartness. So this will definitely be a great addition to our kitchen, and I'm really excited about that. Um, we have yet more um, snacks, and this is actually something that could kind of go with the mustard, I think. So dill seasoned sourdough pretzels. I'm just trying to kind of brush them off. We got a nice little package of them. So these look like a nice little treat. I wish they were like soft pretzels because that's like my favorite, especially with mustard. But these will be delicious, I'm sure, as well. So it looks like these are from Eastern Shore Specialty Foods, um, but I'm excited about that. Let's see, it does say that it's just one serving size for, per package, which I appreciate because I always hate when they tell us like that this is like five servings. So that's fine. It's only 240 calories, so not too bad for your little carby treat for the day. And still more snacks. Wow, we got a lot of edible stuff in this box. I, sh I feel like it's usually a pretty good balance. Maybe like a third of the items are edible, but this one seems a little more like half. Ooh, these are cool. So it says, these are called Pizzoots, premium Virginia artisan peanuts, and the flavor is New York dill pickle. I don't know what it makes it a New York dill pickle, why that would taste like different, but it's a very sleek little package. It doesn't say too much about it. It just says that these are dill pickle peanuts for your enjoyment. So. I, I, again, I think that'll be good. Salty and a little bit tart. So sounds good to me. All right. Let's see what else we've got in here. We have a cute little notepad that says I'm kind of a big deal, which is cute, right? Because dill. Um, and he's got little eyes and stuff. I always think it's weird when we have uh, food with faces because it's like, why would you want to eat it? Like, why is it promoting eating that item? I always thought that was like the strangest, like, Thing to have like mascots and stuff when you're trying to get people to eat the pickle. I don't know. Um, let's see what I can find about this. I'm guessing this is from My Paper Box because I know she's been doing some collabs with them and this looks like a My Paper Box um, notepad. It says, we're so thankful for My Paper Box for designing I'm Kind of a Big Deal notepad just for us. While you're at it, check out her Ultimate Personalized Stationery subscription box, which is great. And she does have a coupon code. So let me know if you need that um, or I'll include it in my next unboxing of My Paper Box. This is cool, whatever this is. It's like like a, it's almost like an art print with a jar with two pickles. Um, so, huh, what is this? 
I'm, this is from Studio Pop, so let me see if I can find Studio Pop on here. It says, they've designed this cute pickle sticker just for our March box coming straight out of the jar. So I'm curious, so, oh, I see. So the jar is actually just like the background, just the packaging, and then you can see there's just two pickle stickers, which I honestly don't know what to do with all the stickers that we get in subscription boxes. I know it's a really popular thing, um, and sometimes when they do include the retail values, I feel like the retail value ascribed to stickers, um, even when they're great quality or great designs, is a little bit higher than what I would ever honestly pay for myself. So I'm not like a super huge fan of getting stickers um, in subscription boxes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. These are super cute, but I just can't think of like what I would put a pickle sticker on. If you have any ideas, let me know because again, we love pickles. I just don't know where I would put a pickle sticker. Um, so that's cute though. All right, we've got something else that looks like a little notebook or something. This is a really pretty pattern. It says cucumbers by Dawn Perry, but look how pretty that like tessellation design of pickles is. It's really cool. I think it's a recipe book, huh? So that is cool. I think I've gotten a book like this that was about like coconut and a whole bunch of different coconut recipes. It's really bright green, you guys. So it is, it says pickles, know your cukes is one section. And then it's got pickles, how to make pickles. And we did actually try to make pickles using a kit that I got from Bombay and Cedar and they came out okay. They were a little bit more um, on the cucumbery side for my husband's taste because he's a weirdo. He loves pickles, but hates cucumbers and I like them both. Um, so then it tells tells us different drinks you can make and I love a cucumber drink. It's like very spa, fresh, feels like it's good for you even though it might have um, alcohol in it. So there's like a cucumber mint coconut cooler. That sounds amazing. There's also some hot dishes like butter baked cucumbers. I don't know if I would like that. Um, soy and wasabi glazed cucumbers with crab and lemon. That sounds good. A bunch of cold recipes. I love a good cucumber salad like at a good sushi restaurant or the cucumber salad that they have at Din Tai Fung. One of my favorites. So these sound really really good. I love just a really good like thinly sliced cucumber like tea sandwich. Oh those are so awesome. It also has some recipes for condiments and even sweets like cucumber and honeydew popsicles or paletas, which I think that would actually be really refreshing and a great summer treat. So this is really cute. I don't do a lot of cooking. You guys know that I enjoy it, but some of these recipes, especially the cold dishes seem like they might be easy enough that even I could accomplish it. So let me see if it says anything in here about this. It says cucumber, snappy, refreshing, pickle worthy, make new and exciting recipes for pickles, salads, and even cooked centerpieces with Wand P Designs Short Stack Cucumber Recipe Book. So cool. All right. I'm, I'm into that. So it says that this is short stack is a small format publication focused on inspiring ingredients and dependable recipes created by the culinary world's brightest talents. How cool. So there must be different um, books in the same series uh, with different featured ingredients. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll see more of these in future fruit for thought boxes. So we got this little recipe uh, book, which is adorable. We got these stickers, which I don't know what to do with. They kind of make cute bookmarks even. Um, I think the packaging, like I said, is, is adorable. I guess you could just put it on the little jar that they have in the back, but and then we got our pickle scented candle, which is probably one of my favorite things just because I love candles. And like I said, it smells more like herbal, uh, the dill than like a pickle, like a pickle jar. Um, and then we also got, it says, okay, so here's the information about our oxymoron of, of flavors is what it says. Uh, created this pickle flavored lollipop just for our March box. It's so weird. You just have to keep looking more. We'll see about that. We'll see. Um, and then we got our I'm kind of a big deal little notepad. We got a lot of stuff in this box, honestly. We got our cute little tongs. This is probably my second favorite item because it's functional, useful, and adorable. We got our dill mustard, which I will definitely use because it's also got garlic in it, which sounds really, really good. We got our snacks. We got both um, some pretzels as well as some peanuts. So I feel like I'm ready for, for a nice afternoon in front of the TV with all of my snacks and maybe I'll try the sweet treat. I don't know. That Again, the lollipop kind of kind of freaks me out a little bit. Let me know though in the comments below what your favorite item was or maybe the item that you're most intrigued by in this dill pickle themed fruit for thought box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.